Hello guys, welcome to TechBuzz. In this video, I will show you how to transfer WhatsApp messages from Android to iOS or iOS to Android in easy steps. Although there are some other methods as well, but since many of you complained of those apps not working for you, so thought of making another video with a different app. So let's get started. So for the WhatsApp data transfer, we will use Altphone WhatsApp transfer app. Altphone WhatsApp transfer is a really helpful and feature-rich app and can help you to transfer data of various messaging apps between iOS and Android devices. It is available for both Windows and Mac PC. The link of the app is mentioned in the description below. You can check the details from the link. Although this app is not free, but it's worth of every penny as you can use Altphone WhatsApp transfer to transfer data from various messaging apps like WhatsApp, WhatsApp Business, Line, Kick, Viber and WeChat. Using this app, you can transfer each and every WhatsApp messages like chats, pictures, documents and audio files. But before going ahead, make sure you are using the latest and official version of the app else you may face issues while registering your WhatsApp. So there are two methods. First is the direct WhatsApp transfer between devices and second one is the first backup then restore. So for this video, we will choose first backup and then restore option. So now you have to connect your device. I am using an Android phone and will transfer my WhatsApp data to iPhone. You can use this app to transfer WhatsApp data from Android to Android or iPhone to iPhone as well. After connecting your phone, make sure USB debugging is turned on on your Android device and it will most probably be under developer options. If you can't find developer options, then click the software build number 7 times in the about section of your phone and then a new developer option section will appear in your settings and from there you have to turn on USB debugging. Once it is done, your device name will appear over here. Now click backup now. The next step is to open WhatsApp on your Android phone. Go to settings, chats, chat backup and set Google Drive backup option to never. And then click backup. This will make a local copy of your WhatsApp data on your Android phone. You can follow the on-screen instructions to carry out this procedure. This may take some time depending on your data size. Once it is done, click continue. The backing up process will start and will take a few minutes. The app will ask you to verify your WhatsApp account that you are using on your Android phone. So enter your country code and mobile number and click verify. It will ask you whether you have two-step verification enabled on your phone. Since I haven't opted for two-step verification, I'll click continue. Then just enter the verification code that will be sent on your Android phone. Once your verification procedure is complete, it will start copying the backup to your PC. So we have backed up all our WhatsApp data from Android device to PC. Now let's transfer it to the iPhone. You can transfer it to other Android device as well. Once your iPhone is connected, select restore backup. Check here whether the correct device is connected. After that, click restore now. It will ask that the transfer process will wipe the WhatsApp data on the target device. So do you want to backup? So it's your choice. I'll select continue. It will start generating the data from the backup. Now you have to log in into your iPhone with the same mobile number that you have used on your Android phone. It is your usual WhatsApp login procedure. So I will fast forward it. When you have successfully logged in into your iPhone, click logged in and now it will ask you to turn off find my iPhone as it is required to restore your iPhone. Once you have turned off find my iPhone, click try again and the data restore process will start automatically on the iPhone and it will restart by itself. But don't do anything on your iPhone, let the app do its work. And since the phone restarted, the phone disappeared from my screen because the screen recording has stopped. So the restoration process is complete on the iPhone. Now let's open WhatsApp and check whether everything has been transferred. So everything that was there on our Android phone has been successfully transferred to iPhone, including chats, images and each and every document and that too in a just a few minutes. It will not take more than 5 to 10 minutes to carry out this process, but that also depends on the size of your backup as well. If your backup size is over 10 or 15 GB, then it can take 1 or 2 hours but it will perfectly copy all the WhatsApp data to your new phone. 
you can download the app from the altphone whatsapp transfer site the link is mentioned in the description below you can either buy a monthly yearly or lifetime license so it's easy on the pocket as well if you have any doubts regarding the altphone whatsapp transfer app you can ask me in the comment section below if you enjoyed the video do hit the like button also don't forget to click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get updates on our new video uploads also follow me on instagram on techbuzz.insta page and techbuzz facebook page we will be back with another video soon till then stay tuned